The Cause of Nine Rare Skin Conditions Have you ever noticed a patch of itchy red bumps on your skin and not known what it was? You know, those ones that look like permanent goosebumps? Have a skin condition that you can't seem to identify? Well, here at Bestie, we want to help alleviate your worries. So today, we're going to explore various uncommon skin conditions. But first, before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. All right, let's explore the first of many skin conditions. This type of rash looks like dozens of tiny red bumps are grouped together, and sometimes it's referred to as chicken skin. If you noticed this chicken skin before and have not been sure what it is or what to do, worry not. It's actually a pretty common condition and the official name is keratosis pilaris although we probably prefer chicken skin. It just sounds a lot lighter than keratosis pilaris. Keep on watching if you've experienced this and would like to know how to reverse and prevent this chicken skin that sometimes shows up on your thighs and arms. Keratosis pilaris is a condition that mainly affects the upper arms and on the back, and it can also show up on the backs of your thighs. There are more rare forms of keratosis that can affect the eyebrows, face, and sometimes even the scalp. In extremely rare cases, the rash can cover your entire body. It's a genetic skin disorder, so if this happens to you, you can thank your parents. According to experts, keratosis pilaris happens when there is too much keratin in the skin's hair follicles. Keratin is usually found in the tough outer layer of the skin. This causes the surface to thicken. Excess keratin blocks the hair follicles with hard, rough skin, which in turn can widen your pores. This is why your skin appears red and patchy. Keratosis is not contagious, but there's also no cure for it. It usually improves as the afflicted person ages. Some people are lucky to be rid of keratosis by the time that they hit 25. Although there's no cure, there are a few things you can do to help it. Using soap-free soap can actually dry out your skin but moisturize frequently. Diligent skin care is needed to help alleviate this horrible condition, so take care. So, now that we've adequately covered keratosis pilaris, why don't we go through a couple more rare skin conditions? Here's a tip. These next couple of skin conditions are kind of gross, so if you've got a weak stomach, don't proceed. However, if you've got a yearning to see all things medical and rare, then be our guest to keep watching. Who knows, you might find some information about the treatment that you're looking for. Number one, peeling skin syndrome. The summer is fun, sure, but the way it burns our perfectly clear skin is almost unbearable. We go from having nice, smooth skin to dry, red, rough, and worst of all, peeling dead skin. Imagine if you had to experience that peeling all the time. This is the life of people with peeling skin syndrome. A genetic disease that starts when you're young. With peeling skin syndrome, you can almost always peel the top layer of your skin off. Not that it hurts or anything, it just has a tendency to become irritating and blistery, which can lead to a lot of pain. Petroleum jelly and medicine that you would put on warts or calluses might work to make it look or feel better if your rough skin is causing you discomfort. But be warned, avoid other typical skin treatments. They probably won't help and can even be harmful. Number two, chromidrosis. Sweating, while an indicator of a good workout, isn't really all that fun. You get wet, you get stinky, and then in a couple hours, your skin is all dry and sticky. There is a way to make sweating more enjoyable, though. All you need to do is find a way to contract chromidrosis. According to WebMD, the people with this affliction sweat colors. That's right, you heard me, they sweat colors, yellow, green, blue, brown, or black, were the colors we could find reported. So we don't even know if that's the limit. If somehow having colorful sweat seems like a burden to you and you'd like to get rid of it, apparently there is some treatment. It's reported that using a specific cream every day or regular Botox shots will close up your sweat glands, meaning you'll no longer have to be a walking, talking rainbow. How sad. Number three, necrobiosis, lipoedica. All these skin conditions sure are a good time, we know. 
But is there one to let me know whether or not I have diabetes? Sure there is. Necrobiosis lipoidica. A skin disease that often takes place around the shins is one of the early signs of diabetes. If you have necrobiosis lipoidica, there's a good chance you've also got diabetes or are about to get it. So, how can you tell if you've got necrobiosis lipoidica? Well, small, raised splotches will start to grow near your shins. Slowly, they'll turn from splotches to large patches. They'll go from being bright red and raised to flatter, but with a red outline and yellowish center, here, the skin will be thin and will be split easily. The split skin will form ulcers that could lead to skin cancer. If you find these sores on yourself, seek medical attention immediately. Number four, epidermolytic ichthyosis. As if being a parent wasn't scary enough, here comes this horrible rare skin condition that'll turn your baby into a fish. Not literally, but it does derive its name from the Greek word for fish, a genetic disease that you'll pass on to your poor unsuspecting child. According to WebMD, it forms red, blistered, raw-looking skin that's thick in places, injures easily, and gets inflamed. These scales will form rows all around your body, making it dry and giving you rough skin. If you try to remove this rough, dry skin, it'll leave what's left fragile and prone to infection. Number five, Morgellons disease. We're sure you've heard the old trope about drug addicts feeling like they have bugs on their skin when there's nothing actually there. Well, maybe some of these stereotypes were victims of the scary Morgellons disease. With this affliction, you constantly feel like there's something crawling on, biting, or stinging you. The disease can also lead to problems with memory, mood, and concentration. Often, doctors will notice the warning signs of Morgellons disease and suggest therapy because the disease is more than likely a mental one. Number six, erythropoietic protoporphyria. Some might think it's cool to be a mutant, but that's only in the case that you get to shoot lasers from your eyes or get healed on command. People with erythropoietic protoporphyria might not agree because they're not so lucky. Because of their mutation, their bodies have a hard time processing a light-sensitive chemical called protoporphyrin. The chemical builds up at the top layer of their skin and then makes them tingly. Or worse, it itches. Or even worse, it burns. If these people don't cover up around the most sensitive of light sources, it could cause them great pain. Some doctors recommend that people who have this condition get more vitamin A or iron. But depending on the severity, anyone who has this might want to see a doctor. Number seven, leprosy. Although it is entirely curable if tended to quickly, leprosy is still a pretty scary skin condition. And even though a lot of us are naturally immune, you could get it in one of two ways. Number one, you could get it from someone else, note to self, stay away from lepers. Or two, handling an armadillo, note to self, stay away from armadillos. Leprosy is a nerve disease that starts with little pink patches developing on your skin. These patches will be pretty insensitive to light or temperature. Eventually, you'll start to get numbness and tenderness in your hands and feet. Then, if left untreated, you'll experience tissue loss. This is caused because cartilage is absorbed into the body, causing fingers and toes to become shortened and deformed. So our, and most medical professionals, advice is to go see a doctor if you're worried. Number eight, elastoderma. The powers of Mr. Fantastic and Elastic Man sure look fun, but the disease associated with them sure is not. It's called elastoderma, and it happens when your body starts to produce too much elastin. Elastin is the protein that your skin uses to become elastic and flexible, and too much of that is never good. If you have elastoderma, your skin won't spring back when stretched and will often leave you with an abundance of sags and folds. The scariest part about this disease, doctors have no idea why it occurs. Often, if a patient comes in with a disease, WebMD reports that the physician will just cut off the excess skin. Unfortunately, it always returns. Number nine, Argyria. Ever wanted to be a Smurf? 
A member of a blue man group or Navi or Mystique? Well, throw your cosplays aside because now you can just go and contract Argyria. People who have had prolonged contact with silver salts end up contracting this disease that turns your skin a silvery blue. Hmm, maybe Dr. Manhattan was just spending too much time in the silver mines. All right, that's it. Did any of these weird skin conditions freak you out or make you sad? Do you have any stories to share about your skin condition? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.